Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Zainal Arifin bin Abdul Razak. Uh, representative from uh, Taukan Group that will present about this experiment, experiential learning tree about lesson to be learned from roundtable discussion on consumerism in post-pandemic era. Okay, we move to the introduction first. Okay. The COVID-19 pandemic is not a common crisis. And to control the spread of this disease, various measures have been taken, including complete and partial lockdown. As all economic elements are intertwined with public health measure and this lockdown, this result in economic instability of countries, signaling a change in market dynamic. In every market, consumers are drivers of the competitiveness, growth and economic integration of the market. With economic instability, consumers are also experiencing changes in behavior. Although how much transformation experiencing during a crisis will last is the question. Therefore, we as group learn some lessons from each of the speakers in this roundtable discussion on consumerism in post-pandemic COVID-19. Okay, next we move to the first speakers. First speakers that is uh, from Yang Berbahagia, Professor Emeritus Tan Sri Datuk Zulkifli Abdul Razak, that is our rector. Okay, the three key points is sustainable development goals, that is uh, number 12, that are responsible consumption and production and the second key point is the about the industrial revolution 4.0 and number three is soft power okay Prof. Zulkifli talk about on the sustainable development goals which is goal number 12 that is responsible consumption and production and focus on how education part of it and how to educate people to understand what is consumerism the sustainable of it and the responsible of it. He also mentioned that Malaysia is still taking about Industrial Revolution 4.0. With the Industrial Revolution, mass production lead to overproduction, which is supply of goods would grow beyond consumer demand based on the graph that uh, he shows to us during his presentation. He was uh, asking how economy killing the earth. The graph shows that the GDP is growing up from years uh, 1750 to 2000, but uh, we are not realized that at the same time, our earth are being polluted by economic activities, uh, which is a rise of consumerism. Okay, uh, the last is uh, the idea of exploitation colonization and imperialism imposed from hard power to soft power nowadays. They change things around instead of sending the army, they use another force called enterprise, uh, which is supermarket, culture that is buying, uh, education, engagement, government, and digital. Okay, next we move to the speaker number two. Uh, uh, speaker number two, Her Excellency Professor uh, Dr. Sendo Ayuko from uh, Tokoshu University, Japan. Uh, the key point is uh, first ethical consumption in Japan. The condition for ethical consumption and um, uh, the third one is traditional Japanese corporate values and business ethics. Okay, since 2015, Sustainable Development Goals SDG, SDG has been promoted in Japan and rank 17th out of 166 countries. Consumption in Japan is not yet uh, widespread, but it has been gaining attention. In addition, more than 80% of the consumers agree with the environmental and social conscious shopping, even if they do not uh, know the term ethical consumption. This is because their attitude in Japan. 
Uh, number two, first condition is that consumer can get enough information and have the ability to analyze it. Second is consumer have a sense of ethic on which to base their decision. And the third is consumer have the economy to buy the goods and services they want to buy. In Japanese, in Japan, Yoshis mean goods and Sampo means three sides, which are the seller, the buyer, the society. The seller, buyer and society interconnected with each other to make the business ethic become better. Next is uh, speaker number three. That is uh, from Yang Berbahagi, Dato Dr. Anwar Fazal. That is prominent person of Consumer Association of uh, Penang. Okay. Uh, he talks about how the world has changed since the industry revolution is how structured employment was created, which lead to a rush lifestyle and loss of a quali quality life, like eating properly, deep breathing, walking, building design, smiling and laugh laughter, culturing of listening and many more qualities. We need to create an ethical consumer, move from capitalism to capitalism that we miss in the current life. We also learn to get things done in order to be a change maker and have to better world by celebrating success story. We also stop destroying nature and care more for the environment. Uh, we also must aspire to make a more sustainable world that is fair and just with a narrower gap between rich and poor. That is what uh, uh, the idea and point from that uh, Dr. Anwar Fazad. Okay, next we move to the speaker number four which is uh, who is yang berbahagia Prof. Datuk Dr. No Inayah Yaakob. Okay, uh, she says uh, she mentioned Dr. Inayah mentioned that the main reason to be syariah compliant is to obey the creator. The makasi principle uh, that is protect religion, protect life, protect intellectual protect dignity and descendant and also descendant okay all this uh, the five makasi uh, principle dr inaya also men, uh, mentioned zakat and wakaf are the support programs that will lead to debt free and riba free ecosystem which will eventually reduce inequality that is all all of us know about this wakaf wakaf was argued by scholar to include investment since it's purely sadaqah jariah economics empowerment by way of tabarukat application of wakaf sadaqah and hibah finally dr inaya has brief uh, briefly mentioned the difference between zakat and wakaf and conclude ways to support the wakaf foundation investment and the government should interfere interferes interfere to to ensure a stable and corruption free foundation okay next is uh next speaker is yang berbahagia tuan haji jaiz abdul karim uh he talk about the cost and effect of corruption in post pandemic era uh, to the consumers the seriousness of corruption problems in Malaysia post pandemic era, the function of individuals in curbing the consumer's corruption problem. The corruption affect the political that which is undermine the democratic institution and the rule of law, environment which is ecosystem this value, social which is did not fulfill the need of customers and economical that is SME cannot compete with large company. Uh, you also uh, mentioned the corruption become a lifestyle for high authorities. 
when have power authorities they tend to involve in corruption in corruption okay next is the individuals must be educated about the corruption at the in school or university program uh, this is because many of our subject we, we learn uh, each of our subject we related to the what are the the prohibition of riba and and avoid and avoid from corruption okay next speaker is the uh, the last speaker is yang berbahagia tuan jufri ben joha uh, the president majlis belia malaysia mbm okay he says uh, the youth must know their right as consumer through a correct channel by following the law young people need to be educated in consumerization uh, which is various program had been conducted to train them and young people also uh, restart their life uh, which is a relationship healthy and economy and learning from covid 19 situation young techs young people should take this situation to increase their income mastering in the use of technology okay not of not all the youth know the correct way to solve their problem regarding their right to this uh, regarding their right so uh, majlis belia malaysia provide a program that can teach them about their right and through various media the education about cost uh, consumerization need to be teed to avoid fraud that apply by business especially especially in most in post pandemic the pandemic itself have changed the way you think in social economic politics and environment okay uh, so as a conclusion we can learn many important key points that we can use in economic system currently in the most important thing is after this pandemic COVID-19. This is because the situation uh, and economic culture after this pandemic occurs will not seem as before. There's a new norms in our daily life which with a standard operating procedure we call SOP that need to be followed. Therefore, in order to sustain our economy after this pandemic occurs, we need to take note and use the important keywords that uh, already uh, analyzed with all uh, our speakers in the discuss in the discussion uh, in the round round table discussion, and that's all from us uh, from Token Group. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.